Hello, this is High Templar with my new Total War Warhammer Mechanics video, and today we'll be talking about a Glade Guards again, but this time Starfire Shafts. So, who are those guys? Those guys are your Glade Guards that are using magical arrows. You can see here. It's magical damage and it's also flaming damage, so it's uh, very good against any monsters, any regenerating monsters, really. Although most, most of the regenerative monsters do not have armor, but they also have armor piercing. And this is absolutely amazing armor piercing of 16 per arrow. So that's a lot, right? And those guys also have a range of 180, amazing leadership and almost no armor or health. So basically your typical elf unit and they look amazing. I mean those models, those textures, I mean those those pauldrons, I mean there is so much details in those guys. So let's just uh, test them against uh, the guys who they are fight the best against. So these are Starfire arrows against the heavy armored infantry that is pretty slow. And you've seen my battle before with the normal glaive guards, how well they are fighting against the great swords. Let's see how they will deal with them now. And uh, while this video is running, I will show you some force and cons of this unit. However, mind you, you just need to look at my vids, my multiplayer vids, to know that I love the Star Starfire Shards Glade Guards. I do use them like six units in pretty much every battle, except for, you know, Bre Beastmen or uh, Bretonia. But most of, most of the time I am using the Starfire Shards. There is one another faction that I am using normal glaive guards instead of the starfire shafts but mind you look how the great swords health drops there is just few salvas from those guys they have a lot of ammo still and those great swords are dropping like flies and remember when last time we went with this unit all the way here and all the way here and all the way here before those great swords start breaking. Well, look at that now. One more. And one more. And this is the end. Yeah, I, I would call that decisive victory. That was amazing performance. This unit was more effective than pretty much any unit except for maybe hand gunners. So. They are very good at what they do and the hand gunners don't actually take their performance from well not from the actual damage but from the staggering and from the way they are fired they are actually firing at the front row so that's why they are slightly more effective than those guys but only slightly and those guys are much more versatile than can they can traverse the woods much better so I do love those guys Let's see how those guys will deal with some other units. Starting from Empire Crossbows. I am perfectly aware that this is not really a matchup that those guys want, but this might be a matchup that those guys will get, because against the Empire, you actually would, you know, expect to take the Glade God Starfire Shafts, because, you know, great swords and stuff. And those guys will deal with the with the crossbowmen slightly worse than they are than the normal brethren, due to the fact that uh, they deal a bit less damage. It's actually 24 damage, 23 damage for the normal glade guards, and they are destroying the crossbowmen, as you've seen from my previous video. Those guys are still defeating them, but as you can see, this is not really a matchup that you want to get. Yes, they won. They won pretty decisively, they have lots of men still, but they did lose 30 men, and they did lose some ammo. 
this is not really a matchup that you would like to have because those guys are more expensive and they are much better used against any other unit but they will win as you can see from this example how about Angle Raiders Angle Raiders have the advantage of firstly having Pretty nice damage, but non armor piercing, only one armor piercing damage. But the Glade Guards have only 15 armor, so it doesn't re really matter that much. Also, the Angers 120 of them, but low range. However, they do have Stalk ability, which will make them very difficult enemies. Obviously, better than Goblins, because Goblins do not have Stalk. But only now, my right now, my people are noticing those Ungo Riders and they will start firing at them and AI will not will quickly, very quickly understand that this is not the fight that they can win as you can see. So they are going into the melee with those guys. However, while elves have very low health and armor, they are very good and melee, even the archers really. As you can see, with melee attack of 21, defense of uh, 20, sorry, melee attack of 20 and defense of 27, and decent weapon strike of 26, they will de they will deal with those on the raiders pretty fast indeed. Especially that they've uh, de pretty much destroyed them before the fight, before the melee fight. So. As you can see, they are wavering, although many elves are dead, as you can see, they won this battle. Even though there was 50% more of those guys. How about... How about the... Night Goblins. Night Goblins had amazing performance against your normal... Glade Guards, and you would expect for them to de deal even better with Starfire Shafts. Again, this is not really a matchup that you want, but mind you, the Night Goblins do poison damage and they have very little armor, so you should never really do that. Never really test them against those guys. Because if you do, expect to lose. And now the Glade Guards are poisoned, they are dealing more damage to the goblins than the goblins deal to them. However, now they are getting into the melee. And quite unfortunately, the goblins do have poisoned melee attack with the load stats but huge numbers. They will overcome the glade guards. So, that was quite expected, right? Because this is not what you want. What you want to use them against great souls Again, any other units that I showed you before, and they will destroy that enemy, and I mean destroy completely. So how well they will fare against dwarves? We've seen that the normal glade guards didn't do exceedingly well against dwarves because dwarves has a uh, dwarf squirrels are excellent unit, and I mean excellent that they should because they are they are the only strong card that the dwarves have. They are resistant and they do have good range. So Quarrelers and Thunderers are excellent units, although not that numerous and they will use to their counterparts in the Empire Army. They are very resistant against Cav, where the Empire equivalents will absolutely die. So yeah, now we are starting to fire against those... Uh, Quellers and they have uh, advantage, so the Quellers is only now starting to fire. But the Quellers do have, they do have shields. Even if it doesn't seem that they are using them, they are actually blocking some percentage of the attacks. And the Quellers will shorten the distance because on that distance they will lose to the to the uh, Glade Guards. As you can see, the health damage for 
this unit and the health damage for this unit, it's clearly seen that from the maximum distance, the colorers will lose to the glade guards. Funny enough, in most multiplayer battles, your enemy will just click at those guys and he will not micromanage them and that means those guys will be firing at the maximum distance and they will lose. Which is, you know, a fun fact, you should be aware. So as you can see, much more massive damage than we've seen before. However, from the short distance, shorter distance, when accuracy is not that important, as you, you can clearly see that the Starfire shafts are starting to lose. And the question is what is happening here, because those guys have armor piercing damage and they are still losing to the dwarves. And uh, the answer is magic arrows. Unfortunately, the dwarves has magic resistance of 25%. And that's why the starfire shafts will perform very similar to the normal glade guards when facing dwarf units. And this is something you have to remember. Those guys are very, very good, except for fighting dwarves. Unfortunately, because dwarves, as you can see, they are losing right now slightly better performance than the previous Glade Guard units, but only slightly. And this will be shown, those guys broke at 2500 here. But the fight was uh, going on for quite some time, right? 2500 and those guys had upper hand in, the, in, in this fight. Because, you know, balance of power was clearly in my favor. Still, 1100, 25, when the, when the Glade Guards broke away. Even more problematic it would be. So you say, but they still are doing slightly better. So you should take those guys against the dwarves. Well, what will happen? What will happen? If we took the Rune Lord for the Dwarves and the Rune Lord or the Anvil of Doom, which will give them additional, or if the player will pick, and he absolutely should, I always do, if I'm playing Rune Lord, that, that is, it will bring up the magic resistance for those guys all the way to 40%. And that means dealing not 15% because that was already at 75, but 20% even less damage than in the previous battle. So right now, those Starfire Shafts will actually do worse than normal Great Guards. And they broke away, as you can see, at 1500, and those guys have 3200 health still on this unit. And that is something you have to remember. And especially importantly, those guys only had 4 kills. And that is important because this unit, no matter how much health it lose, will still be firing down upon the enemy significant number of arrows. Have a lot of ammo, 76. So that is something you absolutely need to remember. And uh, those guys killed what, 25 halves? Not much, I know. Most of the most guys are still alive. But they will drop very fast because their life is almost over and any attack really will bring them down even more. And just for the comparison, if you bring normal grave guards in the same situation, they will do better and I do I am bringing glade guards into the same situation so you can see it clearly so let's see wait until they break so now those guys broke at uh, almost 1400 but those guys actually 
got down to 25 to 25 and a half 100 health so this is significantly better performance and only eight kills still so you know the quarters for the dwarves will be the most effective unit against the elves really they will be very effective against almost every in almost every way the only unit that will be working better would be Warriors of the Dragonfire Pass against the wood units because they have fire damage. So... And... Uh, this is pretty much it. And you might think from all those tests that I am concluding, you might think that I have a negative view of the Glade Guards. I have absolutely positive view of the Glade Guards. I do believe they are the best range units in a game because of the, the versi versatility because they can move fast, they can shoot they can shoot while moving they can... Uh, they are moving very fast through the forest and you can bait your enemy to do that and the starfire shafts are amazing at destroying things that you would normally not be able to destroy with the archers because, yes, uh, you have some range artillery, you have some range uh, firearms, but uh, the advantage of uh, archers is that you can shoot over your lines, which you cannot do with handgunners and other units. You have to find some special spots to use them. So, and those guys this performance, again, against those great swords, will show you how amazing this unit is. How devastating it is to all the elite units that your enemy has. If those guys are behind the enemy line, they will be able to devastate your enemy very, very quickly indeed. So, yeah. But be mindful, be watchful, understand how this unit works, understand this is magical damage, understand against what you should go and where against what you should not. And this is it, I hope you like it, if you did press like, comment if you will, and see my other videos. I do Mega Games videos and DLC analysis and speculation videos for Total War Warhammer, but I also do Let's Plays for Total War series and other games. Thank you for watching and see you later.